Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Aries, this is the first out of three spreads, the Beware spread. We have the Five of Cups, um, clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. We have the Lovers, we have the Seven of Wands, clarified by Justice and the Ten of Swords, and we also have the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarius. Yeah, pretty much any air sign. Yeah, We've got uh, major kind of cards for all three of them. Right? The Lovers is a Gemini, Justice could be a Libra, and the Star could be an Aquarius. But, uh, you know, this spread could be interpreted in so many different ways, Aries. Uh, but the, uh, the phrase that comes through to me the most is, you snooze, you lose. Okay, that's what it kind of feels like. You, what you should be aware of is uh, a missed opportunity. If you take too long thinking about it, uh, I think you're going to miss out on something. It could be about anything, you know, love, friendship, work, business, finances whatever it is the lovers in the middle right that that was that's the card in the middle right there it is a card of a choice right it's not only a gemini you could be dealing with it's also a card of a choice it's a major arcana card right the star on the bottom of the deck could be an aquarius you're dealing with but the star is a wish come true perhaps it's going to be hard for you to believe that everything is lining up for you or that it's too good to be true whatever it is that's coming towards you um, but uh, you will regret uh, not acting upon it right away because I think you're going to miss out on it, right? The first card I came out is the Five of Cups. Um, that card has always to do with the past. This is a card of grieving or regretting something. And it's clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. The Two of Pentacles is a card of somebody who is trying to decide on something. So, And uh, the Four of Cups is a card of a rejection. So again, I think if you do take too long for whatever reason, I'm not saying you should just jump in head first, but you know, if you need to do your research, do your research, but do it quickly. Make it a priority, right? Make it a priority and make a quick decision, okay? But uh, yeah, you will regret taking too long figuring out what's going on here, right? And as a result of that, um, you will miss out on this opportunity. Um, we have the Seven of Wands, clarified by Justice and uh, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so if if you decide on this, but it's if it's too long, you know they're not gonna they're not gonna be waiting for you. This opportunity is not gonna be waiting for you. If this is a job related, then somebody else is gonna accept the job. If this is love related, then it will just this person may think that you have other options. This person may think that uh, you are um, their second option, or you don't cons you don't take them seriously. That's why you're taking too long, right? Perhaps you're going to take like three days to answer. And by the time you answer, they're going to be like, you know what? No, it's just too late. The strip has sailed. And um, Aries, I'm not calling you out, but uh, you know, I think that's what's happening here. If you do take too long, you will miss out on this. But uh, let's take a look at the um, advice spread real quick. Here's the advice for you, Aries, this is from your perspective, this is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have the Knight of Wands, clarified by the Six of Swords, we have the High Priestess, we have the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Wands, and we also have Strength on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow Fire Sign, uh, another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands, I think that's you, right? And um, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The Queen of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Wands, and uh, the very first card that came out is the Knight of ones. So both of those two cards, the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands, I think, that, uh, and actually Strength <laughs> and the High Priestess are part of the same advice, right? The Eight of Wands is um, one of the fastest cards in the deck. The Knight of Wands, this is you embracing the energy of the Knight of Wands, getting on that horse, for some of you it could be literally, and acting upon it, you know, taking charge, taking initiative, um, just claiming it, whatever it is, just acting, being very active and even proactive in regards to whatever it is that's uh, coming towards you, right? The Six of Swords, clarifying the Knight of Wands, this is also a card of uh, movement, right? 
moving forward. The thing about the Six of Swords, it's a card of things getting better. It's a card of an improvement. So whatever this opportunity comes your way, that could potentially improve your life. And perhaps you're like, um, is it really it? Is it really that good? Is it really the truth? Is it really that dream? That wish that I hoped for, dreamt for, for a while, right? That strength on the bottom of the deck uh, could be a Leo you're, you're dealing with, but one of the interpretations of the strength card is courage, okay? And that goes very well with uh, what's going on here. So perhaps some of you may, may, need, may have to have courage to move forward, right? The High Priestess in the middle is a major arcana card, just like strength, by the way, but the High Priestess is your own intuition, right? That's uh, also a card of something hidden, something a bit unexpected, right? So perhaps um, the future is not going to be 100% clear with this opportunity, but uh, I, I believe the advice for you is to have courage to move forward with it. As a matter of fact, yeah, speed things up. <laughs> it's move, all right? Move it, okay? Move forward with this. Don't be afraid of it. All right, it will make your life better with that Six of Swords. All right, so yeah, that's the advice. And uh, we're moving on to spread number uh, three, uh, the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. Here's spread number three, Aries. This is the next thing that will happen to you that will at least put a smile on your face. We have Death, clarified by the Hangman. We have the Five of Pentacles, uh, clarified by the Two of Swords. Uh, then we have the Knight of Wands, clarified by the Emperor and the Sun. And we also have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio um, or a fellow uh, fire sign, another Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We also have a Gemini here. The next good thing that will happen to you, that will just put a smile on your face, this is you um, taking action on something, right? Or perhaps, um, it, it kind of reminds me of the previous two spreads we had, right? The, the first spread, the second spread, and this third spread kind of reminds me of that. So perhaps, this is you changing your perspective, changing your mind, because the Knight of Wands is a repeat card, right? The Knight of Wands is classified by the Emperor, right? And the Sun. The Emperor is your major arcana card, so that's you in both of those two cards, right? The Emperor is, um, you know, somebody is also somebody who is also in control, right? So the person in the Knight of Wands, that's also you. That's you getting more active, getting more proactive, getting back on your horse, just being very enthusiastic, just being very active, right? And uh, as a result of that, things will turn around for you. Um, the Sun, clarifying the Emperor and the Knight of Wands, it's also a card of clarity, and uh, it's a Leo card, you could be dealing with a Leo, or, you know, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. All right, uh, the Magician on the bottom of the deck, it could be uh, Gemini you're dealing with, but the Magician is also a very active card, just like the Knight of Wands. The Magician is a card of taking action. And uh, the thing about the Magician card is uh, the Magician's got all the tools they need at their disposal, and they're using those tools. They're not afraid to use those tools. They're not afraid to do something, to be active about something, right? Everything to the left from the Knight of Wands is uh, what could be becoming a thing of the past if you embrace the Knight of Wands energy. And yeah, this is this is pretty much a repeat of what we, of what we were talking about during the first two spreads, right? Death could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, but uh, death could, uh, um, you know, it could be the end of something and what could be coming to the end is the Hangman. The Hangman is a card of stagnation, nothing happening. So that's you not acting upon something or perhaps taking too long. Right? Then we have uh, the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords could also be a card of something coming to an end. And in this case, um, what comes to an end is the Five of Pentacles, right? So the Two of Swords could say no more. So no, no more the energy of the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is a card of somebody who doesn't have enough money or somebody who feels left out in the cold, somebody who feels miserable. So in order for all of that to become a thing of the past, you need to become the Knight of Wands, to be more active, to pursue things, to be more enthusiastic, to be proactive, you know. And then happiness will come knocking on your door. There <laughs> yes. And that's a, that's a bit of a strange reading for you guys, because, uh, um, you know, every single Aries I know... Um, you know, very active, very enthusiastic people. 
you know, my sister is an Aries, so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so perhaps say it's just, you know, we all go through rough patches in our lives. We all go through some, you know, bad experiences. So perhaps you recently went through something like that and uh, you're not really enthusiastic about doing anything anymore, you know. But uh, uh, every single spread we had so far kind of advised you on taking action. All right, because there could be a, an opportunity that comes your way, as we saw in the first spread, and perhaps you're like, eh, I don't feel like doing it, and uh, it's, it could be a missed opportunity. We did have that star card in the first spread, a wish granted, right, card. So, yeah, um, that's what I have for you, Aries. Hopefully it resonates, and hopefully I made your life better in one way or the other.